So if you have a vehicle and the engine RPM is revving up and down while you're at idle and you're in park, I thought I'd go over the causes of this and how you might be able to go about fixing it. And so the first thing to do when this happens to you is, if possible, is to do a scan of the onboard computer to see if there's any error codes on it. And this is really easy to do. Every vehicle manufactured after 1996 has what's called an OBD2 port up and underneath the driver's side dashboard. And you basically just plug in an OBD2 scan tool and it'll point you to what the issue is going on with the engine. There's a lot of low-cost OBD2 scan tools, some for like $20, $30. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can even go to like auto motor stores. They quite commonly will come out and do scans for free and then tell you what the codes are. Be sure to call around first with places like AutoZone or O'Reilly's, things like this. They often will do scans for free. But the first thing to do, if possible, is to scan the onboard computer so it's going to help point you to what the issue is going on with the engine. And so what are some common causes? Well, it could be a dirty throttle body. It could be the idle air control valve. It could be the throttle position sensor. It might be a vacuum leak. And so the first thing to go and look at is going to be the throttle body. And this is where all the air goes into the engine. It'll have a butterfly that's visible after you remove the air intake hose. And this quite commonly when it gets dirty to cause the idle to be off. So this is a very common problem. And it'll be the first thing to go and check is just take off that air intake hose and look down in there and check out this butterfly and just check out the inside. And these can be cleaned up. There's some cleaner called throttle body air intake cleaner. And you basically use this and sometimes like a small little toothbrush or something. And you just clean up the whole inside until it's cleaned up. You can also take the throttle body off and clean it, which is a better method. But sometimes cleaning it with it still attached also works. But the first thing to go and do is to check out this throttle body and see if it's all dirty and clean it up if it is. And the next thing to go and check is going to be the idle air control valve. And this will be located right on the side of the throttle body. And it helps control the idle speeds. So it's definitely something to check out. Be sure to check out the wiring and everything like this. On some vehicles, what you can do to test it is that you can unplug the wiring harness and then you can see if the idle changes. If it stops idling up and down drastically or anything like this, then you know there's something going on with the idle air control valve. There's some other ways you go about testing it. But the next thing to go check out is going to be the idle air control valve and also the wiring going to it. And the next thing to go and check out is going to be the throttle position sensor. Even though usually when you're having problems with the throttle position sensor, there'll be some kind of like lag when you go to accelerate and things like this. So it doesn't always affect the idle, but on some vehicles it can. So it'll be something to go and check out. And it's located right on the side of the throttle body. And so be sure to check that out. Also keep in mind wiring can cause issues. So always check out the wiring. And then the next common problem with this is that there's just some kind of vacuum leak going around on the air intake. So you can go around and try to check for any kind of vacuum leak. Check all these hoses and everything go around into the intake. And there's different ways you go about trying to find a vacuum leak. A very common method is that you use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the air intake. And then wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at, and then you're able to fix it. Another method some mechanics use is that they'll use a liquid, they'll start up the engine, then they'll spray wherever they think that there's a vacuum leak at, and if the idle changes, then they know they found it. So there's some different methods you can go about trying to find a vacuum leak, but the next thing to go and check for would be to see if there's any kind of vacuum leak, and that includes the intake manifold gasket. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on the causes when the engine RPM is revving up and down while the engine's at idle and the vehicle's parked. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.